Hey, hey, this is okay, okay. Welcome back to another drawing. Tales from the Crib Keeper 7 is up on the screen. And to start off, I wanted to share that we have a new contest going on. If you go over to the okay, 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 okay DeviantArt profile page, you'll see my newest deviation is this preview of the comic. Uh, we are going to be inking that today. But if you click on it in the gallery, uh, you can scroll down and find that there is a contest going on. If you click on that journal entry, it's going to take you to the contest entry. It's a really easy contest to enter into. I basically just wanted you to spend a few seconds on my website so you've seen it. And then um, answer the question to the riddle that will enhance your viewing experience if you read this comic. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. It is a very interesting little uh, symbolism that's going to be going into the comic um, and for the clue on where to find that little furry monster look in the series uh, the Tales from Crib Keeper series uh, if you look on one of those issues you might find them there okay um, and what else is going on um, not much else we're just cramming to get the pre-order done I moved the pre-order back to the 22nd um, that is going to be Friday before Christmas uh, just a little too much stuff uh, got onto my plate and I'm running like about two days behind and the finished thing will be available let's see uh, the 31st I believe all right that will give me uh, two days to celebrate Christmas I'm off that allows me to be off Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. All right, and now we're inking the uh, little preview of the comic that I put out. The pencils version is um, on the website, on the profile page of my DeviantArt. Um, and <laughs> if you also wanted to go down to the profile page, you can find uh, where, where on top of the poll is the journal entry for this contest but if you go down you'll you'll see the contest for pretty much who do you want to kill in the Star Wars universe celebrating Star Wars because of the last Jedi so far Jar Jar Binks is just killing it uh, <laughs> next off is Hayden Christian's force ghost from Return of the Jedi uh, which makes no sense you know I really liked Return of the Jedi until they added all this stupid crap to it um, and it made that movie very hard to watch for me and I loved that movie before they did the special edition um, yeah well I know it's not that great but I loved it anyway the space battle I think is my favorite part and I do love just the uh, forest and the speeder bikes I love that stuff growing up so it's always been special to me alright uh, gotta get some big thick lips going on in here okay and uh, what else is there to talk about um, I did buy some stormtrooper armor <laughs> I'm really excited to like get into stormtrooper armor cosplay like on the 501st infantry uh, maybe visit some hospitals and uh, like children's hospitals and stuff have some fun with charity and that kind of thing um, it was pretty expensive but I've been researching on how to um, how to like dirty up your stormtrooper armor I'm looking at making sand trooper armor um, and I'm just really excited to make some guns and uh, to weather some armor um, that is gonna be my big Christmas present to myself <laughs> And my wife kind of gave me the idea for it, so she's a an amazing wife. Um, and uh, let's see, um, I've also got uh, the post Poe Dameron Rebel uh, pilot helmet. Uh, there was a deal on Amazon one day where it was on sale for forty five dollars, and normally it's like eighty five, I think. So it was basically half price, and I was like, I'm going to buy one of those. Even though I don't really care for Poe Dameron, <laughs> uh, 
I uh, just love the helmet, so um, I'm hoping that I might be able to turn it into a Rebel helmet. I don't know. Or maybe Black Series will just come out with a Rebel helmet. But I'm a big Star Wars fan, if you didn't know that already. All right. We almost have her finished. Um, just for a quick second, let's take a look around uh, the page because this is an awesome page and it's a really good setup page. Um, for this comic, there's going to be some like bondage, there's uh, pregnancy, unbirthing, age regression, and this right here is now my favorite panel so far. Um, it's uh, playing off the bondage and the uh, damsel in distress kind of thing. Uh, it kind of feels like the movie Get Out. Uh, also, um, what else does it feel like? Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it too much, so I won't go into it anymore. But um, it's a fun story that involves uh, res teaching a girl responsibility. Does she learn responsibilities? I don't know. But we'll find out, I guess. All right. Give her some hair coming out of the ponytail. And I have decided that um, starting with the next Wonka chapter, I am going to increase my page size so I can get um, finer details. Um, I think that I'm ready to move up to a bigger page size. To uh, and that what that was going to do is I'm going to be using, instead of a four brush, I'll probably use a six brush and it'll look um, as small as the four. Um, <laughs> that's basically just saying um, the page is going to be a lot bigger and so I can use a bigger brush and it'll look small. <laughs> uh, it's t On this page size, if I use a six, it looks way too thick and I can't get a whole lot of details in but um, with the new page size starting on the second chapter of Wendy Wonka which will be probably late February um, that's gonna be the new page size and I should be able to have fun capturing some new details and playing around a little bit more with ink uh, inking get some different uh, line widths and stuff I'm just looking forward to that and having more fun inking. All right. Um, I don't know. Would she have that there? That might be wrong. All right. Let's just do that there. Now her neck looks a little more feminine. All right. So I'm going to take this one layer off because I redrew the uh, the bra. Because believe it or not, I do not have a lot of experience drawing bras. <laughs> I just don't know what they look like, really. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I'm a guy, so I just don't really have a whole lot of <laughs> um, experience observing bras and staring at them. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little creepy, I guess. Um, let's see here. I had to pull up a Google image on woman wearing bra and just kind of look at it for a while and figure out which, there's a lot of different types of bras, I guess. And, um, we wanted, I needed one that's going to look big because she's pregnant and she's going to have pretty large, uh, breast, pregnancy breast, you know. Uh, let's see here. Alright, we're going to have a light line going down here. Alright. I don't know if that would be there. Let's see. Be like right there. Okay. Let's uh, with widen this line right here to make that arm look as, like it's uh, above the bra. And now, bra strap, it's a little too angled right there. 
Uh, another little mention I want to do for uh, the last part of this video is commissions. I get a lot of uh, notes asking about commissions because I do uh, do commissions. Uh, I've been doing commissions ever since I started uh, and I take the wildest, wackiest commissions, no questions asked. I'll even do them anonymously if uh, you don't want your name out there. Um, so I get a lot of uh, requests for commissions. Um, the only problem is I don't do commissions very often. I'll go about, uh, in the course of about eight, nine weeks, I'll do one to two weeks of commissions. So it's not that many. And a lot of times, uh, if, something, if something big comes up while I'm working during a comic and really messes with my schedule, pushes me back a few days, then I'll usually have to really chop down on commissions, maybe only take one or none. Um, so it really does uh, seem to affect my commissions. And I just say that because um, I have already a long list of people waiting. Uh, you can always get on the list. There's no, there's no good way to, uh, you know, like have reservations and like first come first serve thing for people. Um, because it's just they go a long time uh, without getting a commission and um, what I have figured out to do is to make a reserve list so that if you have asked me in the past for a uh, commission you will at least be on the reserve list and um, I will only take a commission from the people on the reserve list it doesn't cost any money to get on the reserve list all you have to do is ask to be put on it um, and that shows me that you have been wanting this for a while and it's kind of like a line that you don't have to stand in you just have to take a number and um, that number is free <laughs> so uh, for commissions all you have to do is uh, write me a note or email ask to get on that reserve list for free I'll put you on there and then uh, whenever I open up commissions if you're on the reserve list you can ask for a commission um, it doesn't mean that if you're on the reserve list, you're guaranteed a uh, slot. Uh, again, there's like, yeah, no cost, but it also means there's no guarantee. Um, it just means that you're guaranteed to be able to ask for a commission. I might turn you down. I might say there's no room, but you're guaranteed that uh, you can ask for one and um, <laughs> uh, it's possible to get a commission. And that's really the best way I've figured out to do it. Um, some people have uh, like donated money or paid a small amount, uh, like a little deposit, uh, to make sure they get a spot. Um, and I've always said, you know, if they're willing to do that, I'm willing to um, do their uh, commission because they must really want it. And they also have to wait a little while, but um, that's. Uh, that's the other that's the only way you can like guarantee uh, to get your commission done um, I've also uh, done some commission series uh, and on those series that's when um, I kind of leave a, uh, I I don't know what's how to what to say about it I uh, give them preference or I give them for I contact them when I'm about to open up commissions and that way they're prepared to jump on it. <laughs> um, you can also request for me to do that uh, when you contact me and I'll put a little star by your name and email you if I know there's going to be a spot available soon. Um, but I don't want to harass you so I'm only doing that if uh, you request it. And that is really all I can tell you about commissions I don't want to bore you but um, a lot of people have questions about those commissions and so here you go this is the inked uh, panel from the uh, penciling from up here uh, this is Tales from the Crib Keeper 7 it's due out uh, December 31st 2017 and it's going to be a fun comic. There's two stories, and it's only going to be like seven dollars, maybe less than seven, six or seven dollars. Um, and it will be a great entry into the Tales from Crib Keeper series. 
I'm okay, 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 okay. And thank you for watching and supporting the channel. I will talk to you later.